I'll tell you, there is nothing finer than canoeing on a beautiful mountain lake. Hi, my name's Vic. Today we're going to be talking about canoeing in the mountains. We're going to talk about basic canoe skills that will allow you to get into a boat immediately and enjoy yourself and avoid all of the frustrations. Plus, we'll give you a little bit of technical advice about your canoe and how to select a good paddle. Join us. The paddle is a basic uh, tool that you'll need and let's go through the parts. The top of this is called the grip. Many times you'll see people uh, use this incorrectly and grip the paddle here, but we want to grip it on the top. Then you've got the shaft, the throat, the blade, and the tip. So we'll be using those terms. The grip, the shaft, the throat, the blade, and the tip. A great way to choose the proper paddle for your size is if you just put the tip of the paddle on your toe. If it's anywhere between the top of your head and your chin, that's about an ideal size for you. Now, if you're running a river, uh, you're experienced, you like a little bit of a longer paddle, that's okay. A longer paddle will give you more force and uh, give you more control if you know how to use it. For, for a novice, this is the, what I would recommend. Let's go quickly over parts of the boat and get you oriented in that direction. First of all, the front of the boat is the bow, the back is the stern. Easy to remember, you bow to the front. Okay, as we move around to the back, on the other side of this, we put it up on the shore here so that you can take a look at it. Technically, the side of the canoe is called the side. The bottom is called the bottom. Pretty tough to remember. This line along the middle of the boat is called the keel. And the ribs are called ribs. Pretty easy to remember. They add strength and stability to your canoe. These poles here add support and strength to the canoe. They're called thwarts, T-H-W-A-R-T-S, thwart. Now you can tell with this canoe that there's a seat here towards the front. So if I'm sitting here, I've got room for my legs and I could nail down. Towards the stern, there wouldn't be room for your legs. So it's easy to say, oh, that's the bow, this is the stern. This is a great boat uh, for canoeing either on a river or on a lake. Let's talk a little bit about uh, launching the boat and transporting the boat. So I've got my assistant, Tim, here. He's gonna go to the bow of the boat and I'll go to the stern. We're gonna be on opposite sides, so stay on the other side of the, of the canoe, thank you. And we're gonna just pick it up. That balances the boat and it's easily transported to your next position. Every boat has a capacity tag that you want to look at and make sure that you're within the carrying capacity of your canoe. This one, as you can see, has three persons or 580 pounds. And so you want to observe that just to make sure that you're safe in all conditions on the waters that you're on. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the basics of launching your boat properly. When you're by yourself, it's easy for a one-man launch. You can just pick the boat up, put it on your hip, walk it to the water and slide it in. Now there's something important I want to talk to you about right now. The strength of the boat comes from the water on the bottom of the boat. So if we were to try and enter the boat here, you can see that there's air between the water and the dock. So we want to make sure that our canoe is flat on the water before we get into the boat. Okay, we've got the boat sat in the water. We'll just bring it to the side. And then one trick of safety, shouldn't be a trick, should be common sense, but we always want to have three points of contact with our canoe. That would be two feet and a hand, two hands and a foot, and as you're stepping into the canoe, we want to step on the center line or the keel. Step in properly into the keel. I've got one foot, two hands, so I've got three points on the canoe. Step in and nail down. I can sit up or I can kneel down, but as I kneel down, it lowers my center of gravity and makes me a lot more stable in my boat. 